Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add honeycomb to your roster base. I'm going to be showing you how to go from this, to this, to finally, this. So last episode, you remember we made the 2x1 with an airlock. We made the airlock so that raiders can't get into our base by door camping us. The only problem is, say it's after day 1, raiders are going to start to mine sulfur. Once they've farmed up enough sulfur, they can get 2c4, hit the first wall, and get into your main loot. Honeycomb prevents that. So on base number 2, we're going to add honeycomb. This is the first layer. The first layer consists of triangles on every single square. We already have an airlock on the first one, but you essentially repeat airlocks all the way around the base without any doors on them. And as you can see here, it takes 2c4 for the first wall and 2c4 for the second wall. This doubles the cost that it takes to get to your main loot. If we go up to the top of the roof, we can see it's the same story. 2c4 for the first brawl player roof and 2c4 to the bottom. If we come over to the main base, we can see that we've extended this honeycomb and added a whole lot more. On the outside, it's one wall, two walls, three walls to the center loot, which triples the initial amount of C4 that it takes to get to the center loot. Upstairs, it's the same. One wall, one roleplayer roof, and one more floor. Now, to build this is quite simple. You start off with your 2x1 with the airlock from last video, and then you just want to add a triangle to the outside of every single square. Once you've done that, you go to the top, and add on the roleplayer roofs. Roleplayer roofs are pretty simple. All you have to do is select it from the building plan and place it facing the same way that I have. Upgrade it to stone and you'll be good to go. As we come over to the main base, you can see that we've added even more honeycomb. So rather than just having two triangles on the two walls, we've added another one in between them. And rather than just having one triangle on the one wall, we've added another two triangles on the outskirts. We've repeated this process all the way around the base, and then, after we've done that, we've added squares on the outsides, one for each corner. Now upstairs, the story is a little different. Rather than just adding in extra walls to our roleplay roofs, if you want to do this step, you actually have to do the walls before you do the roleplay roofs. So make sure that you don't have any roleplay roofs, and you can pretty simply put up all these walls around your 2x1. Then you can add your roleplay roofs, and then at the very top, you can add another floor. That concludes my Rust tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to honeycomb on your base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Don't forget to tell me in the comments down below what you want to see next, and good luck with your bases.